guys i haven't gotten myself for some hours now like i've been i've been so sad i've been so weak i've been so bitter like i feel like i feel like the only way i can get myself is just to sit down here and talk about it because i feel like if i if i if i say it if i talk about it on camera upload it and push it out there in the net a lot of women are going to see it a lot of families a lot of people are going to see it and then so doing i will have my peace because right now i am not i don't know if i'm excuse me let me close my window so as i was saying i know that if i talk about it here i will have my peace of mind okay so that is why i am here to say it and just be free okay anyway if you're missing me for the first time i'm otomo merit a nigerian youtuber based in other states nigeria do want to hit the red subscribe button turn on the notification bell like this video because in this channel here you're not going to be disappointed we do a lot we say a lot we talk about a lot we achieve a lot we also see a lot sometimes <laughs> so please stick around because you're going to enjoy this topic that being said let's dive right into the video now guys um since last night i've been going through lord zeus um page he's an influencer i think a facebook influence or influencer or they call humanitarian kind of what these people yeah so he helps a lot of Igbo people, be you a woman, if you're going through any abuse, if you're going through a lot, like, he just helps people, just like I do here sometimes, helping people, like, basically helping people, you get, if your madam is uh, abusing you, he will help you, he has a lot of supporters that boast the whole thing, okay, the whole organization, so, he does a lot on his Facebook. If you don't know him, his name is Lord Zeus 101 on Facebook. He has over a million followers. Okay, so just go and follow him. He just go and follow him. You will see a lot, a lot of things that he's been doing. Now, he's particularly on this case concerning a nine-year-old girl that her guardian brutalized. I'll be leaving pictures some pictures because you know on youtube a chum the awahala chum headache i'm just i'm just coming back from a lot now so i don't need your problem so i'll be leaving some pictures here now this girl was brutalized see if you know you cannot relate another woman's child if you know you cannot you cannot relate other people's children don't take them from their parents leave them and do your thing now parents if you know your child is underage i don't know why the i know that in this case this woman didn't give out her child per se she left her child with like the grandmother said she needed the girl now the woman sent the girl to the grandmother who now quietly uh, sent the girl away as a help to this useless couple <laughs> some people are wicked though. some people are wicked some people are wicked now you took a nine-year-old girl as a help even a 10-year-old girl has a limit to what she can do do you understand what i'm saying like what is a nine-year-old girl going to do for you can a nine-year-old girl because that woman she doesn't have a washing machine looking at her and her husband you will know that she doesn't have <laughs> oh my goodness can a nine-year-old girl bet your child can what can can a nine-year-old girl cook cook a good meal for the family what can a nine-year-old girl do for you be it a girl or a boy what can a nine-year-old child do for you you went and took somebody's child you know you have a hot temper yes you know you cannot relate to them keep in your house i'll be kept in your house and then raise your name like beating her left and right like anyhow you want i know a lot of you will ask me what did the girl do now let me tell you what the girl did 
according to Lord Zeus, the girl was carrying her madam's child. Now, note that we have children who are chubby. We have fat children. The girl carried her madam's child. Maybe the woman said she should carry the baby. She carried the baby. Mistakenly, the baby fell from her hand. If it's my own child, if I say that it is not your fault, maybe you are not playing, the child fall from your hand, you get, I will not beat you. For instance, there was a day, because Richard, my first son, he's, he's going to turn seven by July this year. So he loves carrying baby Neil, you get. Now, like if he comes back from school now, he will first of all go to where baby Neil is. And you will see Baby Neil. Baby Neil has grown fond of him. Like, if he, Baby Neil sees him now, he will start, uh, uh, and they will be like discussing. If he's doing that, if he's making those sounds, Chica will be like, eh, uh, yes, I know. Did it happen? Don't mind mommy. Something like that. So they've got, they are now fond of each other. So that particular day, Richard was carrying Baby Neil. And he now laid Baby Neil on the, on their phone. And then he was playing on the other part, on the other side of the foam, you get? And his attention wasn't where Baby Neil was. He doesn't know that Baby Neil has started rolling. Mistakenly, Baby Neil rolled and fell from, and fell from the bed to the floor. And the boy started crying. With the force, the boy started uh, the cry. I rushed to their room. Before I could get there, Richard had already carried the boy i now asked him what is it he now quietly explained with tears on his eyes i am a mother not because he was my not because richard is my child but because i know that he has realized his mistakes i noticed that he knew that he was wrong i didn't beat him i did not beat him if you know that something happened mistakenly or maybe something happened on our way. You know, and then that child now realizes his or her mistakes. And you see that the child feels sorry. Even if you want to beat that child, be it your child or another person's child, have mercy. Do not beat that child as if you're beating a cow. Have mercy. That child fall from that girl's hand mistakenly. That was the only reason this woman and her husband, the two people, the woman and her husband descended on that girl. Like they gave this girl the beating of her life. I don't know if the trauma will ever die from that girl. I don't know if she will ever be able to Ah, God have mercy. Some people are wicked. Some people are wicked. If I have money, eh? Oh, what they can get you, eh? Seeing that matter alone, I will pick up the case. I will make sure that that couple rot in jail. I swear down. I will make sure. <sighs> Please. If you know you cannot let another person's child, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Cater for your family yourself. Do your thing yourself. Do your chores yourself. Even if you want to get a help, get an older help. I know they are not trustworthy. Trust your husband. If you don't trust your husband, get a male, a male older. Like, what do I say now? Get a, like, get an older boy that will take care of the things for you if you don't want an older girl or better still go to your husband's village and get a girl that you know that he will not oh diego oh diego look at what a woman did to a nine-year-old now lord uh, the next morning how people now knew what the girl was going through the next morning they sent, and mind you, that girl doesn't go to school. A nine-year-old doesn't go to school. She does not go to school. She does not go to school. 
she was sent out the next morning to go and throw dustbin. People now saw her. Her eyes were awful. Just go to this man's. Oh, I will leave um his handle, his Facebook handle on the screen. Just rush to his Facebook page and see for yourself how this girl was panel beated. Just go and check how this child was panel beated. People now saw her and started asking her questions. She want okay. They said she wanted to fall. After beating her yesterday, they didn't give her food. Till the next day. Nine years old. People should be fearing God. People should be fearing God. Be fearing God. Have conscience. Have pity on other people. This life doesn't end like this. So there is more to life than this than, than wickedness. Mind you that death comes anytime. Your child might be might be in need tomorrow. You push you have conscience soon. People now picked this girl. Started asking her. She said she was hungry. That her auntie did not give her food. Who gave you this beating? My auntie and her husband. What did you do? She now told them. Is that what warranted this beating? Trust people with almost any way camera phone now. They started recording her. They, he got to Facebook. Maybe Lazu saw it. Or maybe somebody contacted him. He now picked up the case. This girl was in the hospital. The trauma she now lives with has escalated to the extent that if she hears any sound, she will be afraid. Some people, eh? Some people are wicked. Some people are wicked. Some people are heartless. If you know, let me sound this as a warning, cause I now feel, I now feel like we are not saying it enough. Please, if you know you cannot relate other people's child, you cannot relate that your cousin, that your nephew, that your auntie's daughter, that your uncle's son. You know you cannot relate them. Leave them. Even if that person is not your relative, leave them. Do your thing. Or better still, hire the ones you will pay. You know that they will do their job very well and then they get paid after their job. Fine and good. Get relaxed, Ziana, as the madam. Please, let us do better. We can do better. Okay? We can do better. We can do better. Please share this video out. This video needs to go out, okay? Share it out. Let women, let parents see what their children are going through in the hands of their guardians, in the hands of people they left, they left them with. Share this video so that parents will be, will no longer be ignorant of what their children goes through. Money is not everything. No. You as a parent. You as a parent. You can no longer cater for your children. The only option is now to send them to uh, uh, anywhere they, they, they need help. Scrutinize the people you're taking your children to. I don't, I don't know what else to say. But please, parents, try to manage your children. Nobody will give you a trophy. For giving birth to the largest number of children, I think. You're not going to get a trophy for it. So please, I will advise. Give birth to the ones you can cater for. Okay? Then if life, eventually life happens to you, before you give out your child to anybody, make sure you know that type of person. Make sure you know what that person can do. If your child comes back during the holidays and then tells you something, believe your child because that is what is happening. I know that there are a lot of um, hells that are mischievous. I know that. But, and please, couples, if you want to get a help, I've said it before, get the ones that will be helpful to you. And God will bless you. 
thank you all for watching please don't forget to share out this video let other people see it let parents see it and know what their children are going through okay in the hands of the people they call their guidance okay all that glitters are not gold be watchful be mindful of whatever you're doing you that is busy maltreating other people's children continue god is watching you and one day he will pay you back in your own coin i'm done talking and i know that i will have my peace now that i've said it okay yes i know i will have my peace thank you for watching we are not normal we are not like this on a normal day uh -huh. but for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video and of course i'll see you again in another one let us all show love to other people let there be love show love if you love yourself you love your environment love your neighbor as well love your help love other people love your gates man and god will bless you love you all love you all peace out <laughs>